How's it going, everybody? Uh, got a whole bunch of new Masters of the Universe stuff, so we just kind of uh, thought we'd give you a show of what we got. Um, this is something I've actually been holding on to since Christmas. Stacy got me this, so we're going to actually do a stop motion of me and Felix building this bad boy. So that'll be a whole nother video all on its own, but this is the uh, Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull. Super cool, look at that thing opens up. It's got the chair and the the uh, trap door like the old one that we all know. Yeah, but it, but it has some stuff that actually, that was supposed to come out that never came out, like the, the top thing and like, and like that place and like the a door. little secret door yeah, there. Yeah, that, that never came out. Mm -hmm. So so they made it. Maybe it was, yeah. did they never make this? Well, that's the elevator, but it didn't go all the way up. So the elevator goes all three stories in it. Um, it's, it does. He's right. It's got a whole lot of extra stuff that they originally like, thought they were going to put into it, and they, they never just never they just never did. Yeah, like, there's like a uh, there's a top podium thing. See, I don't know if you can see how good you can see that there, but that top turret opens up from the back side. Like I said, the uh, um, elevator goes all three stories. So, uh, bottom line, extremely cool, and uh, we will be doing a whole video just talking about this one. Today, we're just kind of going through all the different Masters Universe stuff that we've gotten recently, and uh, do a little bit of opening. So, we did uh, some of the super, new Super 7 stuff, which is pretty rad. Yeah, there's some over there. We do have, we open all of ours, so I figured we'd go ahead and give you guys an opportunity to see us open them. So this is the uh, transforming He-Man, like in the middle when he says, the power of Grayskull. That's whenever he's sh shining and transforming. So this is what they're doing is making him glow in the dark because there's that's like, during that time. There's also uh, like in some also characters that like looks like more in the cartoon, like Merman and Evil Seed was only in the cartoon, but never as an action figure. Same with Shadow Weaver. Shadow Weaver was one that I always wanted as a kid. And uh, Shadow Weaver's the, that one down there. And also, uh, the that one looks way more different because it also, the top doesn't come off. And the back looks way different because like, almost in the cartoon, it's a human. I don't know why they did it. Pretty awesome. We're getting close. We need to get Evil Seed and Shadow Weaver and Orko. And also, Ooh, and Stratus. We don't have that many. Uh, and, uh... You want to tear them open? So don't rip the comic. Okay. Let them see it. Rip it open. <laughs> Pretty okay, awesome. I, I won't take that one. You can have it. Because I already have that human one. Pretty cool. Super 7 does a great job of uh, giving you the feel of the old uh, figures. You know, it's got a really similar sculpt to it. Um, construction is also very similar, except they did change up the legs. You know, the, the, the old ones all had those rubber band, those barbell rubber bands in there. That definitely came that all, easier. all broke over time, you know, as a lot of you guys might be experiencing in your personal collection. But, uh, Super cool. This guy definitely glows in the dark. He's got his uh, sword. That's one solid piece. This is what's different from the vintage one. They, the old ones, you only had the half sword, and then his and Skeletor's went together, which created the key to open Grayskull. All, all the new Super 7s come with like a full sword, and then to keep it alive, they do do the half swords as well for Skeletor and for all the he man I wonder what the Super 7 with Castle Grayskull looks like. Uh, I don't think they have one yet, but that sure would be cool. We need to get one of the uh, classics, Grayskulls, huh? We haven't really tackled the, the classics too much yet on our personal collection. Um, we started a little bit, but we were concentrating okay. on the vintage. And uh, now we're kind of going on to the new adventures. We like the new adventures quite a bit. He-Man in space, basically, you know? Here, let me show you. Because so that goes on his wrist. And it clicks right because it is on his wrist. Because it is human in space. Let's get his fingers in there. Mm -hmm. That's hard. 
I can drop it. Where's the other, where's the sword? Here's, I got it in my hand. All right. So this is the first one that we're opening today. Transforming He-Man. From Prince Adam to, here, I got it. Have a seat. All right, so the next one is it's a robot He-Man. So it's a robotic duplicate of He-Man. So it says in the back, Robot He-Man wreaks havoc in, at Man-at-Arms laboratory. So in one of the comics, I actually don't personally remember this one. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a. It's pretty much Faker. Faker was not blue. I think Faker was not blue. I think in the. In the real movie. I, I don't think it was blue. In what movie? Uh, in the, actually the cartoon. You sure Faker wasn't blue? Yeah, it wasn't blue. <laughs> he was not blue. That's something we'll have to check. Give us a comment, educate us. <laughs> Such a cool figure. Like I said, the still got the same action as the old ones. Really a cool sculpt on this guy. I wish they had the hard head and he's softed. That's not how it goes, bud. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to what you're doing. It goes on its fingers right there. Why don't you hold it up so that they, they can see what you're doing? The uh, shield is a little bit tricky. It's yeah. Nice and firm. Uh, I'm impressed. I think Super 7 is doing a great job with these. All right. Uh, I got one more Super 7. This is the Golden Statue He Man. It says He Man is turned into a gold statue by Evil Lynn and her magical shaping staff. Really cool. There you go. Lift it up. Rip it open. Let them see it. <laughs> There's a lot of them with just this. Well, I mean, to be fair, these are all these He-Man variants are basically the same figure, but uh, you know, different plastic. These different legs paint. are very stiff because the boulder ain't they actually painted on the board. That's why they're so stiff. I like it. I like that they do uh, such a tight joint rather than the old rubber bands. I think that's a, uh, 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 honestly, a pretty good improvement on the line. You know, getting them to stand was always kind of a challenge once they were vintage, you know, or, you know, getting older. What do you got going there, Felix? Uh, I was looking for heaven sword. It's right there, Skeletor. sitting in front of you. No, Skeletor sword. We don't have Skeletor sword right here. Mm. Here, no, have a seat. Mm. All right. So yeah. His arms and legs are very stiff. Super cool figure though, isn't it? Yeah, but they're also very stiff because they think, accidentally painted on the bull joint. I don't think they accidentally did. I think it looks pretty good. All right. Let's see what else. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put it. All right. Want to grab that? Here, let's just leave it sitting there. We come to so the, the vintage. This is a newer thing. Something else new that we got. But, so the, the, but it's not new. It's so, vintage. But so it's this new is that the, we got. Uh, He-Man talking toothbrush here. He-Man says, I am He-Man. I'm strong as can be. And I brush my teeth with regularity. Once in the morning and once at bedtime. And after each meal, so my teeth will shine. You'll remember this saying if you rehearse. And you'll be like the masters of the universe. So That's this a, one has the box still, but he has been opened. So we're going to go ahead and open it just to kind of give you guys a better, a closer look. So, <laughs> it's kind of gross because this one absolutely has been used. But, pretty cool. The, uh, the actual figure looks a lot like the one. I think the armor almost even is the same. Yeah, it is. See, it's got the little thing like on the back, but these toothbrushes have definitely been used. Yeah. <laughs> Should we throw? 
Uh, I mean, no, I don't think we should throw them away. As gross as they do look, <laughs> yeah, they look pretty gross. Yeah, I don't even dare to touch them. You're a freaking. Look at that. It takes a C battery. That's wild. Or no, it doesn't. It takes two double A's. It just looks like a C. Let's see. Let's see if this battery works here. Well, unfortunately, that battery is no good. We'll do a, maybe do another video where you guys can hear it work. But that is the He-Man talking toothbrush with box. We're going to leave it in the box for our personal collection. Dad, oh, I was wondering. Uh, I thought the Snake Mountain disappeared for a minute. Eh? Mm -hmm. Nope, Snake Mountain's still there for sure. <coughs> but Masters of the Universe is still alive and well. Super 7 is really doing a good job, and uh, Mattel is going to be doing some more stuff, too, on it um, that, with the new cartoon that's coming out on Netflix and stuff like that. So um, keep tuned in. and There's we'll already a new she out. Yeah. So keep tuned in and keep it gnarly, my dudes. Smash that like button, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll keep the new news coming to you as much, quick as we can. Have a good one.